Hello gamers! It's time. Clash Mini content. I think you've been waiting for this for a little while now. As you can see, I'm a Countess player and I've been a Countess player forever since day one of Countess being released, aka from the beta. I've never played anything else except Countess. That's probably a lie. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Season 2 just started. We have 27 days left, 24 hour, 22 hours. I am back to 1,300 trophies, and I've been running this deck. Now, is it the most perfect deck in the world? Of course not. But the point of this channel is not for me to teach you the best decks. You've got Gishi Bears, Spoob, Abdud, uh, not Abdud, um, uh, Gastomo, Full Frontage, Chadden, so many creators to give you the best decks in the world. Here, you will find some, 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 some more professional game. No, no, not more professional, less professional gameplay. Um, I finished all my challenges. We got no challenges left. Um, I am level 18 diorama and I have Storm Wizard, uh, yet no Hog Rider. And uh, yeah, fun times. Anyway, let's jump into our first match of season two. Shall we? And uh, again, I've been playing Countess regardless of the nerfs, buffs, or anything else. Um, my current strategy of this deck is uh, for basically Mega Knight to tank in front and uh, for the Storm Wizard to come as a surprise. Uh, I'm waiting for the opponent to move their hero and use that move opportunity um, hopefully uh, very quickly just like this one right now and then for me to drop a uh, storm wizard right on top of them and uh, uh, basically disable and uh, basically interrupt uh, the strategy of the of the opponent with the storm wizard uh, i love storm wizard uh, i love the design of the character i love uh, what she does overall and anyway huge fan uh, now we're going to also drop our little swordsman with the PvP skin, of course, because I really love the skin. Um, and yeah, I think now we're basically uh, in a really good spot unless we get a really surprise, like a, like a surprise little um, change in the, in the round three, which I don't know what it could be. But the thing is... He does have uh, the, the hero upgrade, and that uh, may make things a little bit harder for us, depending on what minis now we see in this next round. So let's see. Uh, I am going to try, I'm going to get my hero upgrade as well, uh, but I am going to actually instead uh, get boast because I'm playing the long game. Um, I'm going to also put my ice wizard in the back of storm wizard. Now you'll say, Vlad, but why? The reason is um, because I want Storm Wizard to bring up the Countess, right? And then when the Countess falls down, the, the Ice Wizard is going to have enough time to walk up to it and hopefully target Countess. Now, obviously, that's not going to work <laughs> immediately, completely cancelled uh, strategy, uh, because Ice Wizard now gets bold and uh, GG. Now, my biggest concern is the P.E.K.K.A because Pekka can pretty much one-shot me. Um, well, two-shot me pretty much. Yep, that, <laughs> that was it. Um, so I need to deal with this. Uh, I, uh, I don't know how to deal with this. I am going to drop my miner. No, I'm going to move my, I'm going to replace my miner and countess. I'm going to affect mega area. I'm going to increase I'm going to do damage with my Storm Wizard and I'm going to add a cleave to my Miner. I hope this is going to be enough because I have two more chances to win. And in this scenario, I really don't know uh, what my real options are. I'm not like, you know, see my Mega Knight is pretty much dead from, doesn't even pop off an ability. Pekka, three star, just chopping everything away from me. And this is going to be a loss. Um, I am stuck now. I am not really in the, in the best position ever, and I need to deal with Pekka. The problem is Pekka 
is pretty much unstoppable at this point. Literally has unstoppable upgrade. So what we can do is pretty much lose. Right? Is that the only thing that we can do? Because I should have... Uh, let's go with mega slow and bigger bigger everything with and boast with minor and basically just hope that uh, i'm going to win this one because the thing is mega knight just gets destroyed immediately and that is really really tough uh storm wizard again gets shut down by by uh boulder i'm not a huge fan of that and again his uh his back is just uh, completely destroying my uh, my countess and uh, oh, oh, oh! Mm. That was, that was relatively close. So I almost recovered, but the strategy of this stack kind of gets countered by Pekka. So very good opening video, as you can see, very professional gameplay. Um, I am not going to pretend as if this video didn't like as this match didn't happen. Uh, I'd like to show also the losses. Um, so let's jump into the next match right away, so I can show you, hopefully. Uh, a better way um, and uh, I'm going to go for Mega Knight now in a little bit different position why um, because I kind of want to have another side of the board a little bit more open for me uh, for other things to m move around um, and yeah basically uh, I'm going to lose this first uh, match First round, sorry, because uh, there is a there is a hero upgrade going on, and uh, that's okay. Uh, we will also get a hero upgrade. That's not a problem. Um, however, also we need to make sure that the miner is dealt with. No, the miner can be dealt with swordsman, and how can it be dealt with swordsman is pretty much put in the back, and then uh, ice wizard blocking its way. And what is that going to do? is um, that is pretty much going to um, basically force Swordsman to walk around Ice Wizard. And as he's walking around, Miner has enough time to go dig down on the ground. And as uh, Miner comes out, uh, Swordsman kind of like just starts tanking uh, the, 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 uh, the Miner and hopefully takes him out. Now, I also have Slow. <sighs> But my swordsman died. Oh no! All right. Uh, after this video, I'm gonna go to Donha and tell him to nerf Countess for the second time. Uh, no, I'm I'm kidding. Um, it's okay. So we need to get our uh, Countess upgrade as well. Uh, got it. And so now uh, we just need. I think we just need a mega area. Um, well, actually, yeah, we have a stone wizard. But the thing is, he didn't move yet. Um, his countess uh the problem is i kind of need to have countess uh i need to have stone wizard out at this point no it's not the end of the world if my stone wizard doesn't hit clash ability i will I can upgrade it for it to be super as well which is actually very very helpful however oh no prince that was oh no but this is still good because uh my mega knight pops off the ability um, and then his countess gets slowed down and then that's a W. So one thing that I really liked and I've been playing since forever uh, with Mega Knight and um, Ice Wizard is uh, I really like crowd control. Now what we're going to do here is going to be a little bit of a brain, big brain move. So we're going to swap uh, the position of Mega Knight and Countess together. Um, I mean, hopefully it's a big brain move because it can totally, like, not go our way. I want my Mega Knight to tank as much as possible and, um, and then my Countess to uh, go wild, uh, hopefully. So, thankfully, I did not move the Countess uh, from the original position. That means that the ability uh, goes up and my Countess is free to roam around and charge up. And hopefully Mega Knight pops off the ability, but yes, does not. Oh, the pain! Okay, 
So, uh, yeah, Bandit. Uh, I was considering to use Bandit as well instead of Swordsman. Uh, I, that is something that I may consider um, in the deck optimization uh, period. I think also Miner is not really super useful at this point, so I might, might as well um, swap Miner with Bandit because Bandit kind of has like this uh, energy drain. And so, yeah, we're going to continue climbing. We need to get, obviously, the giant skeleton skin, um, and hopefully on this series of Clash Mini, we're going to get up to 3,000 trophies as well. Uh, I did not get this S1 uh, avatar, uh, so hopefully in this series, I'm going to get it. Uh, what you can expect from this series is that I'm going to make a video in between the climbs and tell you the update on the deck, on the situation, on what's going on, and I am in a bunch of dudes, um, uh, clan with Abdude, uh, but I can join any clan that you want and I can jump around from clan to clan, not a big deal. So yeah, thank you for tuning in for the very first Clash Mini video and I'll see you later. Bye!